It's an exciting time here in Northern Nevada. The primary elections are right around the corner. And with so many people running for mayor, everyone seems to be talking about that particular race. But there are some other very important races going on. I cannot stress the importance of taking the time to learn as much about each candidate as you possibly can. It's not just enough to know the person's name or know the person on the surface. You have to search deeper than that. Prior to my interview, I had never met David Butko, who is currently running for Washoe County Sheriff. But tonight, we're gonna sit down, talk with David, and my goal is for you to have a very good picture of who he is and what his experience is. But more than that, it's to encourage you to take the time to learn about all the candidates, and most importantly, to encourage you to show up and vote. So David, when did you decide that you wanted to run for Washoe County Sheriff? Boy, I have to say, uh, going back in my history, uh, it had to been like when I was 16 years old. Really? Yes. I, uh, my, my friend, uh, best friend at the time, uh, and I started a uh, cadet police program called the uh, Sparks Police Explorers. And from there, we um, expanded it and carried it on. In fact, my friend became the assistant uh, chief of police for Sparks. And we continued that on until I was, uh, well, actually of age until I was 21. And when I was 21, then I became a reserve deputy sheriff. Wow. And then within a year, I became a uh, full-time deputy sheriff. And uh, I have all that history and, um, experience behind me. Now, how long have you actually then been with the Sheriff's Department? I've been with the Sheriff's Department for 30 years, and actually longer if you include my reserve time. That's incredible. So, you know, one of the things that I always think it's important that people know who they're voting for, but they also know what their experience level is in addition to who the person is as an individual. When we're looking at who we should or should not be voting for, um, it's important to understand what types of things this job entails. So when you're the Washoe, Washoe County Sheriff, what are you responsible for? Well, as the Sheriff, you're responsible, number one, for the detention division. Detention is the most important part uh, for being the Sheriff. You're in charge of the entire county, the Reno Sparks Police, the Federal, everybody puts their inmates in your detention facility. And you are responsible for that. Uh, you're also uh, responsible for, again, a, a number one position is the safety of the people. Wow. You're, you're the ultimate uh, law enforcement within the county. And then also you're in charge of search and rescue. So those are some extremely important things. I mean, those are big things. Well, most definitely they are. <laughs> and uh, that's what the citizens of the of Washoe County are expecting and require from the sheriff. So why do you think that you'd make a great sheriff? Why I would make a good sheriff is, is actually it's easy compared to anybody else that would be running. And that is I have experience, I have knowledge within that department. I've, uh, not only have I worked almost every division within that department. I commanded every one of the major divisions within the department, and those are being the operations division, the administration division, the detention division. And you have to know, you have to know the mechanics mm -hmm. that operate those in order to be a, um, a sufficient, a, a, you know, the utmost manager for that agency. And I have all those. Now, if you were elected, what are some of the things that you would like to see changed? One, one, my main topics would be transparency. I want to be open to the public that, you know, in today's world with all the politicians and so forth, honesty is the best policy and transparency is the best, you know, the best of the best. The other thing is, is, um, the, as we were talking earlier with the Detention Bureau. The Detention Bureau, we have some, some areas where we can utilize veterans. Veterans can, um, we can have their own housing units. So when, you know, and they come back and they have special needs and we're there to fulfill the, you know, their special needs. And we can put in a, uh, a housing unit so when they come into the detention facility, they can be placed within these housing units and be with other veterans, special needs. We can bring, um, you know, the uh, experts to help them along. And then we can facilitate them from there into 
uh, veterans courts and so forth and help them on through the system. And also lastly, the, the community. I'd like to bring back uh, community uh, liaison officers. Those people are uh, deputy sheriffs that work with the community. They go to meetings and uh, interact with businesses and, and also just talk with the public but that are within their areas. And I'd like to bring back uh, some reserve officers. Reserve officers is an asset that we don't utilize. So those are some really great points that you brought up, and I agree with you. Honesty is, of course, the best policy and a challenging thing to find in today's day and age. I'm curious to know, have you actually served under a sheriff before? Um, as a matter of fact, yes, I have. Uh, five different sheriffs. Wow. And under the five different sheriffs, um, I, I, I had the pleasure of learning their strengths and their weaknesses mm -hmm. of what worked, what didn't work. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna use that for my position if I become sheriff. You're gonna draw from that knowledge, which is unique, five different sheriff's knowledge. Absolutely. That's awesome. It's been a, such a pleasure to sit down and talk with you today. I really appreciate you coming and joining us and letting our viewers get to know you a little bit better. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> During our interview, I also learned that David has received three medals, the Sheriff's Medal of Valor, Sheriff's Bronze Star, and the Sheriff's Medal of Distinction. David Butko and most all of the candidates have website pages and Facebook pages. You can also find a lot of the candidates for all the races speaking at different events. If you wanna learn more about a certain candidate, don't be afraid to reach out. Send them a message with your questions. Go to the Facebook and website pages and do as much research as you can. It's time for us to put our county on the right track, and that starts right now. Your vote does matter.